Attention chaotic players, the chaotic transport system will shut down in 10 minutes. The transport system will shut down in 10 minutes. Players must port to the transport center immediately. Players must port to the transport center immediately. Taking over! The Codemaster saying Param's too dangerous for chaotic players. Peyton, they're shutting down the transport system in five minutes. You gotta port your code back to chaotic right away. I know, dude. I got the emergency message on my scanner. But I just want to snag one more scan in the Mipidem Oasis before I port back. The way things are going, there might not be an oasis much longer. What's happening there? The Marillion's brainwashed most of the Royal Guards! It's total Mepedian mayhem! Look! The Mepedians can't hold on much longer! Any sign of Kaori yet? None. The Marillion's brainwashed Von Blute too, and now the Underworld Army's his! If Kaor and Takinam and Hearing are alive, Von Bloop's troops will destroy him on sight. Uh, hold on, Peyton. It's Sarah. Sarah, where are you? They're shutting down. I know. I just had to see Mount Pillar one last time. Most of the Danians have evacuated, but Queen Alexi and her guards are still at the top of the pillar. She can't leave. And if the Marulians capture her, the Danians are finished. Hold on. Kaz, I'm in Kiru City. The Marillions are outside the city walls. The Tribal Alliance is in the library trying to figure out a way to stop them. There may not be a way. Tom, you gotta port back before they shut down the transport system. The Alliance is gonna make its last stand here, and so am I. City. There's nothing you can do to stop the Marillions, and if you don't port out now, then- I know! I may never be able to port out, but Maxor and my other overworld friends are in trouble. I can't leave! I understand. Keep me posted, pal. I will, Kaz. Oh, Peyton and Sarah! Sorry, Peyton, I forgot to put you on- <laughs> Fall back! Fall back! Help! Help! Peyton, are you okay? Peyton! situation is desperate. Queen Alexia and her guard are still under attack. We'll send Naka's brigade to Mount Pillar. What about Mipidim Oasis? We need at least two brigades there to drive back Ahunkalin's army. We can only spare one brigade. 
to help evacuate Mapedian civilians. Oh, it's the only I can't we have to do it. We don't reach the enemy head off. We don't have a chance. It's All we've been doing lately is running from the Marillions. Well, they take more of our warriors and our territory. We have them outnumbered. Why can't we stop them? Mind control. They turn our troops against us. How can we win against that? Well, we can't just let them destroy us. Of course not. But we need to know why they're trying to. Yes, and what their ultimate plan is. I we still cannot be more sustained. Hold your fire! This is Rodden, an overworld muge. We've asked him here because of what he's seen. Not long ago, I passed through Kirvark Mound, a place that affords a glimpse into the future. Or possible futures. The land was battle-scarred and barren. Then, a tidal wave inundated Perrin. Everything was swept away. Everything but a mysterious tribe of water creatures. The Marillions thrive in water. That's why they want to flood all of Perrin. The only way they can do this is to melt Glacier Plain. It would be the end of Perrin as we know it. Perrin! Hey, Kaz. Pink's in trouble. What kind of? Port to the Mipidim Oasis and find him fast. The chaotic transport system will shut down in three minutes. Repeat, the transport system will shut down in three minutes. Goodbye, Mount Pillar. Good luck, Queen Alexia. Sarah, wait! Kaz, I only have a few minutes to... Peyton's in major trouble! Blugon just transmitted these images from Glacier Plains. The Marillions have a small base near the center of Glacier Plains. Looks like they're building some kind of super weapon. And I'm afraid Rodden's vision may be right. If they melt the ice up there, even a fraction of it, Perrin will be nothing but ocean! Tangith Toborn is leading a special commando team to destroy the base before the Marillions can melt the glacier. But even if Tangith's team does destroy that weapon, we're still not safe. Marillion coral fighters have massed outside Kiru City. They're obviously preparing an all-out attack. That's why we have a second commando team digging a tunnel to take them behind the Marillions. Our commandos will surprise the Marillions from the rear and split their line. Divide and conquer. What if something goes wrong, even with one of these operations? We've prepared for that possibility. So we plan to capture Orny, the Marillion leader. Sounds too risky. Using telebracers, one of us will transport to the city of Mar, the Marillion capital. We'll capture Arnie and teleport him back here to the Overworld. With their leader at our mercy, the Marillions will be forced to negotiate a peace treaty. Is it wise to bring Arnie here, considering the Marillions' brainwashing powers? Your concern is well-founded, Nadarin. That's why Tartarix suggests we transport Arnie to Lake Bakir. I have seen Marillions in battle there. The lake's strong magnetic force blocks their powers and drastically weakens them. We have to try. If we capture Ani, the invasion will be over. I say let's do it. He's right. This mission will be difficult and extremely dangerous. Who could we possibly send? It'll have to be one of our most skilled warriors. Somebody with experience battling Marillions. I believe Marquis de Rini will be able to show you. There's no one leader who's qualified to capture the Marillions alone. I'll go. Maxor, you can't! Perhaps it would be wiser if someone else... I'm going! Tell me more about the plan, Tonerik. When I teleport to the city of Mar, how do I find Ani? According to my spies, Ani's chamber is located... here. Come on, you guys! We gotta go! The transport system will shut down in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The transport system is now shut down until further notice. Peyton, 
if you can hear me, just hang on. Tom and Sarah are on their way. Just hang on! Peyton, you get his scanner. in range. Launch the first two missiles at the mirror, then knock out the cannon. My pleasure. Activating thermal missiles. Oh. We've got company. to rename the Oasis the New Oasis. It's great to be safely out of that place. We're not exactly safe here either. 
Not with the Marillions waiting just a few miles away. Yes, Kaz? Are you in Kira City yet? Did the Marillions attack? What's happening? Like I told you two minutes ago, when we find out anything, you'll be the first one we call! Yeah, but... Coral fighters! wonder what they're waiting for. Why don't we just port into the library and find out what the Tribal Alliance is doing? They just kick us out. Or worse. Not if they don't see us. The Telebracer has been modified for your mission. This gauntlet is equipped with a navigation crystal. Once we complete our data entry, it will map a secret route directly to Oni, the Marillion leader. How do we know this? Can you be certain the maps of Mar we have are accurate? My spies have been there. We can depend on them. What about a communicator? Will Maxor be able to contact us if there's trouble? I wanted to put one in, but... It's too risky! The Marillions might intercept the signal and put Maxor in greater danger. If I may continue... This gauntlet is armed with six teledots. When you find Orni, fire them at him. They'll create an inclusion field, activate the telebracers, and Orni will be teleported with you. See for yourself. This is Big Bug. Do you read me? Over. Come in, Digger! Scartalus, any word from Tangeth Toborn's commando team? Nothing yet. Digger, this is Big Bug. Do you read me? Over. Big Bug, this is Digger. Come in. Big Bug, do you read me? Over. Perfect. Our communicator isn't working. We're probably too far underground. I said digging a tunnel was a bad idea. Oh. You'd rather march right up and wrestle with the Marillions, I guess. I still don't see how nine of us are supposed to take down a whole legion of Marillion warriors. I think our three secret weapons more than even things up. I hope you're right. Big Bug, this is Digger. Can you read me? Big Bug, this is Digger. <laughs> Why couldn't I get assigned to Glacier Plains? At least I'd have some nice fresh air. No sign of Frafto. What's that steam? They're powering up the heat cannon, getting ready. But it'll be a while to build up enough power to melt the glacier. How do we stop them, Tangus? We've entered Tardirex maps into the navigation system. You're ready to go. I'll be back with Ani.
Looks like that heat cannon will be ready soon. When it hits that glacier, it's the beginning of the end. Go join Nebris and Ganop. When you're in position, signal me. When I signal back, hit the Marillions with everything you've got. What are you gonna do? Ride this thing down right to that cannon. <gasps> then I'll cast this. A symphony of stasis music. That'll create a time freeze! They won't be able to fire the cannon! We're almost in position. Get your battle gear ready. can get in this way? Totally. It's one of those Bodle transit tubes. Leads right into the library. Come on! Where do you think you're going? Uh. <laughs> Madrin! We were just... Trying to sneak into the headquarters of the Tribal Alliance. Luckily, I can use the assistance of three rogues like you. I fear there is a traitor in our alliance. If he is not unmasked, Perum could be doomed. This is it. Let's do it! <laughs> 